we're going to talk about evaluating logarithms and the common logarithm is going to be log base 10 of x so if you just see log of some number there is going to be an assumed base 10 so if there is no other base um, denoted then we know it's an assumed base 10 and we have the same thing with this natural log there's an assumed base e like for example if I wrote it, it would be natural log of e okay so when we come down here and we evaluate we're using a calculator if you can see there's no base represented that means there's actually a known base 10 there now your calculator is set up to calculate logarithmic functions with the known base 10 so we would simply put in our calculator the log of 10,000 of um, 100,000 the log of 100,000 is equal to 5 so you would put that in your calculator and it's going to calculate that for you okay and for the B there is no base show and so we know there's a known base 10 here and if it's a known base 10 it means we can put this in the calculator okay so log of 245 hit enter and I got approximately 2.3 892 check your calculator and make sure you get similar values to what I'm getting all right for C once again I'm just going to keep talking about notation if there is not a base show and there's a known base 10 so that says um, we could put it in the calculator so log of this value hit enter and I get negative 0.6475 okay now we look at these natural logs and what like I said whenever you don't see it for a natural log there's a known base e okay so we would put um, natural log of e to the fifth in the calculator and you would get five also properties if I didn't let you use a calculator remember when we said this matches this the answer is the exponent one of the properties we talked about um, in the last lesson, the one before this one, we noticed that as well. But since this is a calculator um, section, we'll just put it in the calculator. For this next one, remember there's a known base E, so we can put it in the calculator and we just put natural log, the LN of 135, and I got approximately 4.905. Three. Let's just add another nine zero five three. Okay, and one more natural log of this decimal. I'll give you a minute to put that in the calculator, and let's see if you get the same value I did. Four three eight seven. So this first portion we just talked about known base ten for logarithms and known base e for natural logs and then this is just a calculator be able to plug it in the calculator and solve okay so the next thing we're going to talk about is the change of base theorem so in this particular case it's not a when we look at this it's not a known base 10 and our calculator is only set up to do a base 10 so I simply can't just put log of 14 in the calculator and think I'm going to get the correct answer. I'm going to have to use the change of base formula, which would say do the log of 14 divided by the log of 5. So in this case, when we use change of base, we're going to get the log of 14 divided by the log of 5, and that should give us 1.63. Nine, seven. So change a base when it's not a known base 10 we're going to have to use our change of base formula so practice doing that. Alright likewise on B this is not a known base 10 so my calculator I must tell it to calculate the log of this divided by the log of 2 so we would put that in the calculator and hit enter and I would get negative 9.9658. Now your homework will probably tell you how many decimal places to round your values to um, when you put input your answers. 
once again in C. This is not a known base 10, so I need to use my change of base formula. And change of base means calculate log of 20 divided by log of 5. I put that in the calculator, and I should get 1.8614. So we learn a little bit about change of base, and in this particular one, I denote it four decimal places. Um, and like I said, your homework will tell you how many it wants you to do.